set finger. Welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Jackson Jackabit. In case you are coming across this channel for the first time, consider clicking the subscription button, click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our content in the nearest future because we do post amazing stuff every Mondays and every Fridays. So this tutorial is going to be based on how you can mix your Afro beat vocals like a professional. So this song that you just played right now is a song by Ejai Kizi. He's a Nigerian-based artist, but based in Turkey. So it's a song titled Original, produced by me, Blessed Finger or Jackabit. So this song I'm going to use to illustrate how you can mix your Afrobeat vocals like a good professional if actually you want your song to sound like those of the video whiskey and all of that with this tutorial you're gonna learn how you can mix any afro song like a good professionals so without wasting time let's dive straight into the tutorial for today So I just played this song and uh, you discovered that it's a well-missed and uh, balanced project. So I'm going to remove all love this from the song so you guys will hear what and how it sounds. Then uh, so I'm going to remove all of this. Then I'm going to guide you through on how you can mix your Afro beat vocals so the first thing you should be doing is to first of all listen carefully how the natural voice sounds so i'm gonna play to see how the natural voice sounds before knowing what to add into your vocals so i'm gonna play without an instrument for us to hear how the vocal sounds remember there is no effect on it for now so it's just a raw voice of the artist so let's just listen and see how it sounds without uh, the beat so listen see my baby girl original anytime you need me girl i go answer baby girl original anywhere you go i would like to follow you anytime you call me for phone and i miss your call i will call you back oh baby girl international nobody thank your place if you listen closely, you will discover that he did a very wonderful recording in these vocals. I just want to thank Eja Kizzy for giving me the privilege to use this body of work to illustrate how to mix Afrobeat vocals. I thank you so, so much. So um, now you have already played these lead vocals without any effect on it. Then the next thing you should be considering is check if there are some spot in these vocals that needed you to remove maybe um where he, he, he didn't say anything probably you might remove some part cut some part off just like if you see from this spot let me actually zoom so you understand you see from this spot there was nothing on this spot so you can cut off such parts where he didn't say anything to avoid the noise you know so this is the first thing you're going to do on all your vocals before you start adding any 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 stuff because at times you know some artists don't know how to control their breath during voicing so they might have been putting some on all those kind of sounds and uh, maybe the microphone maybe you know 
some sound might come through the microphone or from the environment so you don't want to maybe after your mix you'll be hearing um a, a sound that doesn't is not pleasant to your ear maybe um an obstruct sounds so let's just um play you see that uh we have already successfully cut off those points or those parts that um, wasn't in use in the lead vocal so listen see my baby girl original anytime you need me girl i go answer baby girl original anywhere you go i would like to follow you anytime you call me for fun and i miss your call i will call you back oh baby girl international nobody thank your place so if you listen closely you discover that there's there are some parts of this vocal that are more higher than others but we just have to just have to reduce it from this point using this volume section here just have to cut it reduce it a little bit you know we are going to still uh do a good compression on it but just to give it a trimming just you are going to just trim the vocals you trim down the vocals a little bit not all that you know just trim it so after you are done with it so the next thing you're going to do on this lead vocals on this afro lead vocals is first of all to assign what we call noise suppressor you know most of my tutorials have used this particular wave plugin because they are wonderful like i i discovered that you know they are okay and they are they are spectacular they help to um reduce or to suppress some noise that happens to be on my vocal so what i did actually was um to insert my ns1 mono then let's play and uh we adjust uh the amount of the noise suppressor that is gonna sit or that's gonna be okay for this vocal so um listen as we um adjust uh the amount of the noise suppressor See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I miss your call, I will call you back, oh. Baby girl international, nobody thank your place. See my baby girl original. So normally I, I try, I normally, normally I, I used to put it around that kind 10 to um one uh, around that kind 10 to 15 uh db anytime you need me girl i go answer baby girl original anywhere you go i would like to follow you anytime you call me for phone and i miss your call. you might not understand what is happening to these vocals using these wave plugins but it is actually doing an, a great effect on these vocals he's trying to filter off those noise that are not okay so after you are done with that then uh you go to your insert your auto tune you know most artists uh like auto tune and most doesn't like auto tune what this auto tune is going to help you to achieve is it's going to help the vocals to sit at the right pitch you know it's not gonna be going off the pitch and even if it does go off the pitch you can actually use a pitch corrector to set it right into where it's supposed to be so um the song is on a key of c and on a scale of uh, minor so you are going to be uh reducing all of these parameters here you know i have already trained you guys how to use auto tune so i won't be going through that um tutorial in case you mix or you really want to know how you can use auto tune you go down to the videos how to set up auto tune and use other tunes you can learn from that video from my channel so i have already placed it on a low mid low male voice and the routine speed uh let me just see if i increased the routine speeds to the fast and let's hear how it's gonna sound when the routine speed comes very fast so listen see my baby girl original anytime you need me girl i go answer baby girl original anywhere you go i would like to follow you 
Anytime you call me for phone, I not miss your call. I will call you back home. Baby, you're international. Nobody take your place. Do you discover something? If you listen closely, you discover that the voice, you know, kind of become robotic. And you want to achieve such in that vocals, whereby your voice will be sounding so robot, you know. So you needed to still maintain the, the original voice, but um, using some amount of return speed to balance it up. So let's just adjust this return speed to 10. Then let's see and hear how it sounds from that. See my baby girl original. Anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original. Anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I miss your call, I will call you back home. Baby girl international. Nobody take your place. You see, um, giving a fast, uh, a fast return speed it doesn't sit well in these vocals you know there are some artists that once you give a fast um routine speed on the auto tune then you are damaging the vocal um texture already so but this guy um he didn't need such um fast routine speed on the auto tune so i gave him 10 on the routine speed so the next that i should be considering is um adding my subtractive eq i normally use um, a free stock studio eq that comes from cubase to do some of the um subtractive eq on this lead vocal so um i have already uh lectured you guys about how to use stuff like this on um, when i lecture on complete tutorial mixing and mastering in case you miss that tutorial, you can go search the video down and uh, listen and see how to use it. But what I did here actually was um, to reduce some frequency that I feel that is not good in the vocals. And uh, I cut off some low end at 1500, cut some at 3 hex and cut some at still 1200 and 2007. So um, let's just play with the EQ on this vocals without the beat, then uh, let's play without it. So now the EQ is on, so let's play with the EQ being turned on. Then I'm going to off it and uh, you hear the difference of uh, the subtractive EQ on the vocals. See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and not miss your call, I will call you back home. Baby, you're international. Nobody take your place. I know you guys are, are understanding the difference. So let me just um off it, then let's play. See my baby, you're original. Anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby, you're original. I'll turn Anywhere on you and go, turn off like for you to for you guys to see the difference. Anytime you call me for phone and I miss your call, I will call you back home. Baby, you're international. Nobody take your place. See my baby, you're original. Anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby, you're original. Anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I miss your call, I will call you back home. Baby, yeah. So if you listen closely, you see that once the EQ comes into the vocal, it tries to smooth some part in the vocal. So after that, I know one thing that will be ringing in your mind is that why is it that the vocal is not, um, you know, out in volume? Like, I think uh, we are lacking something. No, we are not lacking anything. You know, we are coming to that spot whereby you can use your compressor to um, give a little bit of gain and uh, make that vocal to come out in a such a way that um, it is going to sit while the beat plays. So that is going to bring me to the point where I use a wave plugin called Ravox. This is one of my um, 
best uh, one of my best compressor i do use on vocals especially whenever i try to mix afro beat i so much love using these vocals this is how it's gonna be on a default i'm gonna play this then um, adjust this this compressor for us to get at that point where this vocal is gonna sit right in the mix so i'll make sure that at this spot here it's not gonna exceed minus three and uh, minus six then i'm gonna place this gain on minus six so this gain is gonna come down to um, minus six then uh, i'm gonna adjust this compressor right here then to make sure that um, i have that spot where this vocal is gonna sit very properly so let's play why i adjust this compressor see my baby girl original anytime you need me girl i go answer baby girl original anywhere you go i would like to follow you anytime you call me for fun and i miss your call i will call you back oh baby girl international nobody take your place see my baby girl original anytime you need me girl i go answer baby girl original anywhere you go i would like to follow you Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your call, I will call you back home. Oh, baby girl international, nobody take your place. See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your call, I will call you back home. Oh, baby girl international, nobody take your place. See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your call, I will call you back home. Oh, baby girl international, nobody take your place. See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your call, I will call you back home. Oh, baby girl international, nobody take your place. See my so you see that, uh, you know, you must have to understand to use your ear. But in case you don't, uh, you know, trust your ear, then uh, we can actually use this method to understand how to use this compressor although i have trained you guys how to use this revox so in case um you needed to learn that still you can still go down to the video of, in this channel then you can learn how to use this revox so after that we have added this revox um this vocals then the next thing i'll be doing is to add my dsi if you notice uh you discover that uh most of the vocals some part in these vocals have some S say sounds you know all those sounds that comes with s and is you know and that we needed not we don't want it to be in this vocal so we we need to eliminate it off and we and by so doing by so doing to eliminate these um particular stops on the vocals like i said then um we are going to be using a dsr i so much love this dsr because it's a free stop plugins i just have to go down to the mail av and uh, that's all so let's just play why this um dsi is on then i'll turn it off then you see how powerful it sounds on it when turned on so listen see my baby girl original anytime you need me girl i go answer baby girl original anywhere you go i would like to follow you anytime you call me for phone and i've missed your call i will call you back home oh. Baby girl international, nobody so take I'm your place. Off and See my baby off. girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your. You know, that that point whereby he said answer, you see the s. s so when turn on, you see what it's. You see the difference. I went on off at that point to see the difference just let's know now the dsr is on so let's observe at that point where you said answer anytime you need me girl i go answer you see anytime you need me girl i go answer you know it it turned down the s sounds but went on off 
Then listen and see. Anytime you need me, yeah, I go answer. You see, answer is high. So that's why we use this. So listen. Anytime you need me, yell, I go answer. So um, this is what this DSR does on these vocals to reduce all those C's and S sounds. So after that, you know, the next thing that will be coming through your mind uh, is actually to add some additive EQ. You know, there's some spot in these vocals that the frequencies are very wonderful. So I'll be using my far filter to actually add um, these stops. I'm using far filter Q2 to add um, some spot where the stops are uh, to add some frequencies to boost some frequencies. So I'm gonna use this pro, uh, I'm gonna use far filter pro Q2 to. Um, add or boost some of the frequencies that are sounding good or they are okay. So Baby girl, original. Anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your call, I will call you back. Oh. Baby girl, Nobody Nobody And I've missed your call, I will call you back home. Baby girl international, nobody take your place. See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your call, I will call you back home. Baby girl international, nobody take your place. See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me before I'm a piece of call, I will call you back home. Baby girl international, nobody take your place. See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby so if you understand this, what I did here, I tried to cut off the low end because you know I, I don't actually need I don't want this low end you know because the vocals only set from the mid and to the high frequency so what I did is to add some to boost some frequencies at you know 700 eggs and to boost some frequencies at a 2700 kilo egg so this is what I just did practically did there and cut off the low end so let's just uh, play and see how the sounds we did Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your call, I will call you back home. Baby girl international, nobody take your place. See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. So after that, you see, we have added, uh, we, we have boosted some frequency up. Then the next thing that, you know, after that is to still do some compressor because you know there's some point whereby we boost in these vocals and uh, you know we discover that you know it affects the peak of the vocal at some point if you listen closely then you understand so because of that we'll be adding another compressor you know being a uh, arrow compressor mono so this is what we'll be adding again so you know i've already trained you guys how you can do that you know on our videos how to use arrow compressor you know on your vocal so in case you miss that or you don't know how to do that you can still go and check in our video then then you can learn how you can um, uh, use that so i will just go straight to um add my parameters and adjust it to get what i want without saying anything so listen baby girl original anywhere you go i would like to follow you Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your call, I will call you back home. Baby girl international, nobody take your place. See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your call, I will call you back home. Baby girl international, nobody take your place. See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. 
Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your call, I will call you back home. Baby, you're international. Nobody thank your place. So at this point, I have gotten a spot where the vocal is already compressed on. So after that, the last but not least on this, my lead vocals I'm adding is going to be my vocal riders. Vocal riders is a very sweet and powerful wave plugins that most um, professional producers use on their vocals. So what this plugin is going to do is going to it's going to smooth um the the vocal to some extent that you know all those stuffs we added is gonna come in the smooth stops like the sensitivity is gonna be more okay and sweet so i'm using uh the preset that comes with the vocal rider then let's see how it goes because i don't really want these vocals to be too harsh i want it to be too smooth so that's why i'm using this preset that comes with this vocal rider so let's play See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your call, I will call you back home. Baby girl international, nobody thank your Let's place. without it. See my baby girl original, anytime you need me, girl, I go answer. Baby girl original, anywhere you go, I would like to follow you. Anytime you call me for phone and I've missed your call, I will call you back home. Baby girl international, nobody thank your place. So you see, so this is what this vocal writer have done to these vocals. So there's something um, remaining that we have to do on this vocal before we can um, go down to other stops. So before then, uh, I go to the next. Uh, let's just play the beat and see how it sounds with the beat and the lead vocals. So let's then. So you see, um, it's, it's very wonderful, as you can see, the vocals are smooth, but something is still um, remaining. The vocal is not yet out at the face, you know, the vocals have to be at right in the face. It has to be pronounced, you know, it has to come out. That is why, that is what Afrobeat all is all about, you, know, you got to make it let let them hear or let them see the vocal right in the beat so that is the next thing that we're going to do and to do that we're gonna just have to um do a little bit of uh, equalizer on this what i did was just to still cut off some low ends and uh, to tame some frequencies that are not right so even when i play it then you see the difference then then i'm gonna go to my group tracks or group channel then show you guys how or what um i have in stock with you guys on that group track so listen with that eq <laughs> Okay, um, I, I believe you guys understand the difference when the um, e equalizer is turned on and when it's turned off. So then after that, let's just go straight to our our group track and let's see what we have in our group track. So I'll be removing all this because I don't actually want it or I don't even need it. So the only three parameters I, I'm using or I'm, I'm going to be using in these group tracks are my classic compressor um in fact let me just see my classic compressor and all the um maybe my my dap tube that is what i'm gonna be using to achieve a what i need to achieve to make that uh vocals come or sit sits right in the mix so without that um let's just um turn on 
our classic compressor then uh, and see what uh, we have classic compressor so this is with the classic compressor let's just listen then why we manipulate on that <laughs> So what actually we did here using this classic compressor was actually to reduce our threshold and increase our ratio and adjust our level of gain that just all. So this is for that classic compressor. The next thing I did was to use my DAP tube. My DAP tube just have to use the preset warm distortion just to give some warm distortion. And after that, you know, I noticed that the, the vocals need to spread up. So um, there are so many plugins you can use, but I'm using this BT stereo imager just to spread up, you know, the vocal at some point. So let's just play. Then you see the difference why I use all this three stuff. <laughs> that the vocals with the beat are so smooth you know none is competing with each other is smooth so you see so this is how actually you can mix your afro lead vocals and achieve a professional mix then after that you when you are done with it you can now um copy the track the channel track and paste in other channels so i'll, I'll, I'll be pasting it in other channels i used control v you know one thing about the vocal rider is that once you paste you know the preset goes out so you, you should still remember to put it on smooth rider you see so that's just what you will do then um once you are done on pasting that then you can play and see how it sounds. You see, we have actually um, achieved a very good mix on these lead vocals, on these Afro beat lead vocals. So, in case um, this tutorial have been helpful to you, please kindly um, give us a like, give us a comment, and tell us that this tutorial is helpful to you on the comment section. And in case you are coming across this channel and you are not yet subscribe in this channel then you're on a long thing because we do post wonderful materials wonderful tutorials wonderful stops amazing stops in this channel every mondays and every fridays and i know that you don't want to miss out in this content so please so kindly subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first to receive our content why we stay to upload and become family i still remain your humble producer jackabit jackson